Visit us at herinteractive.com. Okay. Hey, Gerard. That's the young woman who invited everyone. Actually, she didn't really invite me. She invited Frank and Joe Hardy, and they invited me. And I've always wanted the to join The lo-fi would have taken us out of the time boys. period, I think. I just hope this doesn't turn out to be another one of Lori's silly attempts to grab publicity. Some people can be a little too rich and a little too famous for their own good. Not me. Not me. Luck. Love, Nancy. Well, people, now that our little orientation tour is over, let's get started. Okay, I, again, am Lori Gerard, and the first thing I want to do is thank you all for coming. John Gray, I am so thrilled that you're taking time out from that TV show of yours to do some ghost hunting here with us. I mean, Ghost Chasers is like She's the She's giving best us the lore right off the bat. Ever. And Charlena Purcell. I cannot tell you how much I adore those romance novels you write. <laughs> she Your said, mm -hmm. characters just seem so mm -hmm. real. And all that stuff you know about the Old West, you are just awesome. And Tino Balducci. She's playing Roblox the on there. Only famous police detective in the country. And then there's Frank and Joe Hardy. They're amateur detectives. My dad and their dad are old friends. Nepotism and always in this game. And you amateur detective, their friend, Natalie? Nancy. Nancy Drew? Whatever. All right. I'll bet you're wondering This woman hunched over her laptop is well, so me coded. We're going to Copper Gorge, Colorado. Why? To solve the mystery of what happened to Jake Hurley, the man who originally owned this train. Because see, one day in 1903, his train, this train, was found they're in also a place silent. called Blue Moon Canyon, which was out in the middle of the Nevada desert. Only the engineer was was on board and he was dead as for jake hurley he Creek. disappeared from the face of the earth oh and two more things before he disappeared <laughs> jake was rumored to have found the richest gold mine in the world and the train he owned this train his wife Camille died on it while they were going to the gold fields it was rumored to be haunted <laughs> She's gone. Oh my gosh. What in the, the cinematography, okay. Madison. What's going on? <laughs> Peaking cinematography. People should never go tampering with things they don't understand. Oh, brother. Also, dog shampoo. I was literally just thinking about it's the okay. Emma Roberts Nancy calm. Drew movie no need to yesterday because I don't remember it. I think it came out on my birthday. I definitely saw it. I don't remember. Well, Nancy, I don't remember if it was good or not. I kind of want to rewatch it. What are you supposed to do when your hostess vanishes into thin air? If I don't seem concerned, it's oh, it was bad. I'm not. It was bad or it was a banger. Y'all will have to fight it out. She craves attention and habitually uses her father's considerable wealth to get it. Is that a crime, officer? So you think her disappearing like that is just some kind of Very polarizing. stunt? I just think she couldn't resist showing off in front of all of us minor celebrities. Oh, I do relate. What was her name again? <laughs> Nancy Drew. You As a minor celebrity met. myself. Sort of. I called you not too long ago when I was at Shadow Ranch. You gave me some information about Dirk Valentine. Ah, Nancy Drew. You remember me? No. Oh, she's so real. She's so real. This is me in the future. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? Psst. Nancy. <laughs> Come here. That was him peeking around uh, the corner, I guess. Me for a second. Hey, Nance. Hello, boys. Where have you two been? I followed Tino Balducci, and I went after John Gray. He went straight to the room in the car that used to be Camille's and didn't come out again. I could hear all these weird noises coming from inside. <laughs> Not going into the room with weird noises. Any idea what he was doing? I was just about to go in, but the next thing I know, Joe's got he my said, Don't come in here. script and is dragging me back Don't here. Don't come in here. about how Balducci's our guy. He found something on the floor right where Lori was standing when the train went dark. I saw him pick it up and put it in his pocket. Then he left. Did you see what it was? When I tried to talk to him, he just kind of brushed me aside and said something snotty like, I'm on the job here, Junior, so just go back to the playground and stay out of the way. In case you two hadn't noticed, we're not getting a lot of respect around The Nepo here. babies get no Can't respect. Can't we tell Balducci that we do stuff for ATAC? You know the rules. ATAC? American teens against crime. We do a lot of undercover work for them. Wonder Cop's probably never even been undercover. Oh, uh, that Let sounds like go. a pyramid scheme. What Charlena have to say? 
She thinks Lori is faking this whole disappearance thing. Pyramid scheme She's specifically for Nepo one. babies. How can you say that? You heard Lori scream. Anybody can scream, Joe. Especially girls whose fathers have given them acting lessons along with everything else they've okay, ever wanted. Okay, Joe. Okay, Frank. What about you, Nancy? What do you think? Team Joe. I kind of agree with you. You forget what he said. Hmm. Do you think maybe one of Lori's other guests is in on her disappearance? We all hate her. It's certainly possible. <laughs> we are here on her dime, though. Sound like she knew any of them. Maybe that's what she wanted us to think. Or maybe that's what one of them wanted her to think. Well, whether Lori disappeared by force or by choice, what we've got to do now is find her. Absolutely. Has anyone talked to the engineer? Not that I know of. Then I'm going to head up front and tell him what's happened. Maybe he knows something we don't. All right, Good snitch. Idea. In the meantime, we'll take another look around in here. Great. Catch you later. Yeah, we love Lori. Lori gives like um, young Jennifer Coolidge energy. But I think I feel like she must have just been like a really cynical parody of um, Paris Hilton because this game was like, what, 2007? Engineer, what do you want? Hello, hey, babe. I'm one of the passengers and I just thought you should know that Lori Gerard has disappeared. Oh, hi, Lappy Taffy. So? Not so. No one cares. No one cares. Will someone please think of the missing white women? <laughs> please. Did you know she was going to disappear? Hey, all I know is I take orders from Mr. Gerard, okay? Right now my orders are to get this train to He just works here. Non-stop. And until Mr. Gerard He said, "Listen, I just work here." What I'm going to do. <laughs> but Lori may not even be on the train anymore. Look, Mr. Gerard may not be a rocket scientist. What did she do to everyone? Even she knows better than to jump off a moving train. But now, if you'll excuse me, I got me a train to run. All right. Well, that went about as well as it could have, I suppose. A square and a duck. <laughs> it sure looks is. Like this thing opens up, but how? Hmm. Looks like some sort of steam valve. Warning, do not open unless all pipes are connected. Well, uh oh, that doesn't look good. That sure doesn't look good. Well, good thing I just work here as well. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Oops. What happened? <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, fine. What happened? All right. We're off to a strong start, I would say. Where are the pipe things? They were around here somewhere. I guess we'll, we'll find out. I'm trying to orient myself. Orient Express. This door goes outside. Opening it now would not be a good idea. Oh, not Liz Lizzie, you didn't miss much. A girl's missing and no one seems to care. <laughs> About it. Sadie Crawford. Ooh, okay. We gotta start taking our notes. I actually remembered. Pull out my notebook for once playing a Nancy Drew game. We got, from what I remember, we gotta take a lot of notes in this one. All right, Sadie Crawford. Two left feet. Noted. Size large. Or I, oh, I think they're they're left. Surely. They're not large. They're small. They're so small. Oh wait. I investigate this. Ooh. Ish. Does this have any? Wholesome. Satisfying. I don't remember that having any relevance whatsoever, but okay. Clicking away. Click, click, clacking. Oh, terrifying. Probably. Oh. Pretty. Looks like <laughs> some kind of gemstone. Let's take it. No? Oh, Nancy, that's not like you. A puzzle. Oh, this angle. Why are we. Why are we at this Dutch angle? Okay. Already. I have to rise to the, t the to the Oh my god, can I get my words? To the challenge. All right. Speed run is started. Go. Do we have my timer running? I assume I assume y'all are timing me. Okay. Get the corners. Oh, I forgot that we're 
basing this off an image up there. Where's that guy? And then that goes there. Do... No, it definitely doesn't go there. Oops. That doesn't look right either. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Uh, what's happening here? Where did I go wrong? I think these... Yeah. I think these are the wrong way around. It's perfect. Dare I say perfect. Flawless. Oh no, this is the wrong way. What more could you want from me? Um... Oh, that's still facing the wrong way. Okay. What more could you want? Actually, like this. Hmm. I mean, it looks flawless to me, you know? Absolutely, spectacularly flawless. Oh, are these... Hmm. These corners are wrong. There we go. Left pickaxe and lamp with fuel for safekeeping. To open what's closed, lead is the key. Lead. Or is it lead is the key? Whoops. Hi, Ragnarok. Yeah, it's a very ominous drawer, isn't it? This must have been the sleeping car. Nancy hitting us with the train facts. Ill-tempered Edna. Edna. She couldn't get she couldn't get Alice to come out and play. I can't. I'm too tired, is what Alice said. I just want to go straight back to bed. Edna angrily tried to make herself heard, but all that came out was one two-part word. Why, I'm not your mother, yawning Alice replied, till Edna the Terrible finally gave up and cried. Oh. Sucks to suck, I guess. Mama. Weepy Alice. Yawning. Alice. Oh gosh, she's like the seven dwarves. No, you were you were doing what mattered, Dog Shampoo. You were doing some investigation. I need four numbers. <laughs> historical to archiving. This, and there's what, ten thousand possible combinations? <sighs> Guessing could take me a while. Um, it's probably I don't know. What what's everyone's ATM pins? We'll start there. Start listing them off in the chat. And we'll start from there. We didn't try one, two, three, four. Nancy hey, just gave up. Over here. Oh no. Hey, you're that Nancy person. How you doing? John Gray. I'm not getting sucked into a conversation. You look pretty busy. Right now I'm taking time lapse electromagnetic readings and recording background noise. This was Camille's private car. If she had something to do with Lori's disappearance, analyzing these readings may give me a clue as to Lori's whereabouts. He is serving looks, is he not? Are you saying that Camille's ghost kidnapped Lori? What to most people are ghosts are actually temporary distortions oh my in God. local electromagnetic fields. Caused I made a whole video essay about these energy, people. Generated by the person or persons who frequented that particular locale. And that's my working theory, at least. That goatee is very strong. That's very interesting. It's all very scientific. It's all super but scientific, but is, she missing. was kidnapped and by a ghost. I'm doing everything in my power to find her. The vibes I'm getting make me think she could be in serious trouble. The landing strip goatee. All right. Well, vibes are historically very scientific. You don't think Tino Balducci will be able to track her down? I doubt it. In fact, I kind of feel sorry for the guy. After catching those bank robbers, he can't just be a good cop anymore. He's got to be a great cop. Tough to perform under that kind of pressure. <laughs> you would know? Is Lori a friend of yours? First time I met her was when I boarded this train with all the rest of you. I knew her by reputation, of course. Like everyone else who reads the tabloids. Oh my gosh. Spill the tea, sis. Train is her friend. Maybe she doesn't have any <laughs> friends. 
Wouldn't be surprised. And what? Maybe you can be too rich after all. What's your uh, yes. Of Charlena Purcell? Objectively, yes. Charlena Purcell writes romance novels. End of comment. All right, sir. What are you doing? Thanks for the chat. Take care. And, and what do you do here exactly? What do you? What purpose do you serve? Oof. Wait. This looks like some sort of game. I can do it. I can do it. Hmm. Nothing happens. <laughs> I'll bet I have to wind it up first. Okay, Nancy. You don't have to mansplain it to me. I got it. I'll do it. Oh no. Oops. Oops. Go. We're doing it. We've got like the pride parade in the background cheering us on. We're doing great. <sighs> this is intense. How long is this song? Oh my gosh, Camptown Races is so long. I did it. Oh, okay. We're not doing the whole thing. Wonder what's in here. Camptown Races. Dun, 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 dun. Teddy Eberhart. Oh, that was another one. Yeah, that was some epic gaming moments. Teddy. Eberhardt. Eberfart, more like. Got him. <laughs> Don't do that, please! Those microphones I set up over there are very Please! Just about took out my eardrums. Please! You can play that thing when I'm done. I'll let you know when that is, alright? Okay. He's working on his mixtape over there. I cannot interrupt. Clearly. Thomasina O'Neill. Is that also a doll? I'll write that down. I mean, I don't know why I'm writing these things down. I've never seen this before. <laughs> no clue. It, which will make it much more embarrassing Looks when like I inevitably get lost. How to play the piano. Ooh, we're gonna take a picture of that, I'll tell you what. Um... Do, do. Thick. Oh, it didn't X out that time. That's nice. Oh, I can't turn on that little light. Looks like some kind of sewing sampler. I wonder if there's a relationship between those symbols and those numbers. Awful Ursula is looking right into my eyes. Oh my gosh, look, it's Goose. It's Goose Goose. I wonder what's under here, and what the deal is with those weird-looking bolts. Um... I need something that will turn the bolts. Why was that so quiet? But I also remember the sound mixing is not great on this game. Hello? Nancy! Hi, it's me! Oh, no. Hi, Bess. And me. Hey, George, what's up? What's oh my gosh, up? the girlfriends are calling. You're the one who's on the train with a bunch of famous people. You tell us. This is torture, Nancy. I'm dying of curiosity here. Bess, just calm down. The train with oh, the D-list celebrities. As curious as I am, she's the one who insisted we call you Nancy. Only because you're driving me crazy. I'm supposed to be helping her paint her room, but every other brush stroke, she's like, where do you think she is now? How do you think the Hardy Boys are doing? Why do you think she hasn't called? What do you think Laurie Gerard is wearing? Oh, George, that is so not true. I couldn't care less what Laurie Gerard is wearing. So come on, Nancy. You're on a train full of famous people bound for who knows where. So dish already, would ya? Bess, calm down. Look what you did. You got paint in my hair. I'm sorry. You know, actually, that looks kind of cool. Nice try, Bess. No, really. You're just saying that because you're afraid I'll bail and you'll wind up having to paint this. Oh boy, they yourself. just chat, sure, chat, I chat. You, not. you should seriously think about doing some. No, Beth and Beth. Color. What color is Beth it? Beth and George are cousins. Adobe beige. <laughs> nice try, Bess. What's going on, man? But I, I would say they're secretly in love. <laughs> you know, cousins by chance, lovers by choice, perhaps. Our hostess has disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? Yeah, I mean, cousins. When the train went into a tunnel, everything went dark. And when the train came out of the tunnel, no Lori. She just disappeared. 
publicity stunt. My thoughts exactly. Remember the time she was allegedly kidnapped from her Vegas hotel room? Yeah, the guy across the hall just oh my God. the camera and got it all on tape. It made the evening news in practically every city in the country. And then there was her daring escape the next morning. She sounds like a hoot. She faked the whole thing. Of course, she claims her She sounds like so much fun. She thought she was really being kidnapped. Like anybody believes that. Sounds to me like somebody has been spending a lot of time reading the tabloids. George has. Very funny. So what else is going on? Before she disappeared, Lori told us that the Thrupple, purpose of this question train mark? trip is to find out Valid what question. happened to Jake Hurley, the train's original owner. Was he murdered or something? No one knows. He was married to a woman named Camille, but she died. And he eventually vanished while mining for gold. His train was found abandoned in Blue Moon Canyon, Nevada, with no one on board but his dead engineer. Whoa, spooky. Have any theories? Yeah, Ned is 100% in a thruple with the Hardy Boys. My first order of business is to find out what happened to Lori. Hmm. So first Hurley's wife dies, then Hurley vanishes, then the engineer dies, then Lori vanishes. Please let me be next. Please let me be next. Do us all a favor and leave the detective work to Nancy, okay? All right, we are not going to ask if they've been to Copper Gorge, Colorado. We have work to do. We have things to do. Hey, Nancy, right? You scared me. That's right. Nancy Drew. Amateur detective, huh? Never thought about becoming a real detective? No, a cab. You know, like me? You mean become a police detective? No. No, I never have. It's a great job, you know. Based, Nancy. I love it. You, uh, heard about those bank robberies I solved, right? I think this is the cake boss. Yes, I sure did. Baffling case. Two-man team at 17 banks in three states in five days? FBI had no idea who the perps were. But after forcing their vehicle to a stop, confronting them, despite the fact that they were armed and giving chase, I single-handedly made the collar. I heard all they had was a plastic knife from a carry-out chicken place. Or, oh, they're both good. I'll do this one. I heard one. all they had was a plastic knife from a carry-out chicken place. Classic, am I right? You heard wrong. <laughs> Armed you and see, dangerous. Nancy, when somebody does something really remarkable in this country, the first thing everybody else does is try to tear them down. Reporters, late night he comedians, got canceled. even some of my fellow officers, all have been spreading vicious lies about He me. got canceled. Why? Because they've never done anything remarkable in their sorry little lives, and they're jealous. The toxic hey, you should look around key. in here. Lots of interesting that stuff. Was so off key. This was Jake's private car, you know. <clears throat> Ooh, fun. I understand that you found something on the floor in the dining car. Yeah, at uh, first I thought it was an old coin, but it uh, turned out to be some kind of slug. Do you think it had anything to do with Lori's disappearance? Nah, probably been lying there for a hundred years. It may have served a purpose back then, but now, worthless. What are you going to do with it? Tino? What are you going to do with it? Tino? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> What are you doing with that? Wear it around your neck or something. That oh way, gosh. when people Thanks, ask you where you got it, you can tell them Tino Balducci gave it to you. The Tino Balducci. I'm so honored. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what else can I do for you? Lonnie went so hard on that line delivery. So, what do you think happened to Lori? Well, she could have been. <laughs> yeah, it's bugged. <laughs> she could have been tossed off the train. She could be hiding from us. But I obviously won't know which until I've gathered all the facts. So you're gathering facts? Of course. It may not look it because that's my style. I'm a low key kind of guy. But hey, don't worry. I'll He's know just the a facts nice, low key kind of guy. Facts. The truth can't be rushed, you know. Have you had a chance to talk to Charlena Purcell? Now, why would I want to do a thing like that? You don't like her? Why, why does everyone always hate each other in these games? Likes. And seeing as I said as much during an interview on national TV once, it's a pretty safe bet she doesn't like me. How'd that come up? Who was interviewing cops about their romance novel takes? Thanks for your help. Not a problem. <laughs> I think he wanted to bring that up. He was stirring the pot. Wonder what Jake used this for. Can we get an axe and just bludgeon him? I guess not. I guess not. And more stuff we can look at over here. 
We can. <laughs> Look at this Photoshop. It's a real person with the two dolls. Hager Anderson. Anderson. And Chantilly Hildegard. That's my drag name. I'm kidding. My real drag name is Ashley Furniture. Or Ashley Madison. I can't decide between the two. That's not really relevant to what we're doing here. That's just kind of a fun fact for you all. Thank you, Ragnarok. I thought so. But they're both brands, so, you know, kind of makes me, me nervous if I become too powerful. The big corporations will come for me. <laughs> That's why I haven't started, you know. The man keeps me down. Looks like an old-fashioned cigar box. Wonder why it's locked. A -G. What does AG mean? AG is gold? Silver. Dang it. Really I was always bad at chemistry, y'all know. Y'all saw me do that <laughs> struggle to do that chemistry puzzle in Waverly Place. Waverly Place. Whatever. For far too long. Oh, see, I went through a witch phase in the pandemic, so I know all these. Yeah. Oh yeah, I own all these. It's fine. I don't have rocks sitting at my desk just to be told by Nancy Drew what these crystals are. All right? I've got them all right here. Yeah, Trixie Mattel has gotten away with it. Trixie Mattel got away with a lot of things, like her, her season seven makeup. Horrifying. I love her. Love Trixie. It was rough. <laughs> It was rough at first. I remember when um, Trixie started blowing up. I, I was really into Katya, but I was never super big into Trixie. And it took me... I had to like... I didn't watch Un, Un for a really long time. I was just like... That person? That was on season 7? <laughs> I didn't get it. I get it now. No Trixie stands cancel me. We love Trixie. Yeah, we, we love aligning some pipes. I, Nancy really should have become a plumber. Really is a transferable skill that seems to have helped her so much along her journey. They're all done. Boom. I don't know why I did that necessarily, but... Another gemstone. All right, are we not taking these yet? I'm pretty sure we're going to need them. Eliza Sandberger. Eliza Sandberger received... Received of Jake Hurley for the price of $3.73, one Curlmeister doll with decorative red ribbon. Okay. Eliza. Sandberger. Red ribbon. All right. Are we done here? Scale. Strange. It seems to be built into the wall. Triggering. It's locked. All right. Owl cherry. These symbols look like the ones I saw in that sampler. All right. That's owl. What's cherry? Let's go look at that sampler again. It looked like grimace. I guess I didn't look fast enough. I didn't see it. Oh, pfft. hang on. Hang on. Hello. Hello, Ruth Kensington, 1864. I'm scared. I'm scared with the real people. Blended so seamlessly in. All right, Cherry is 10. We gotta find a 10 slug, I suppose. But was crossing was crossing train cars a, a just 90s thing? I don't recall. Can't check that off yet. Oh, this font. Can't check that off. Haven't done that yet. Check the pipes. Check. Can't check that off yet. 
I gotta open the old cigar box. Blah, blah, blah. AG. Can't check that off yet. That one grate. Oh Can't yeah, we have to find a screwdriver or something. Can't check that off yet. Okay, I haven't done much at all, have I? Check. Finish that. Finish that. Haven't found Lori. Finish that. Finish that. All right, slow start, I would say. <laughs> it would seem. What's going on down here? Sickly Sarah caught a germ so new it made one of her pretty green eyes turn blue. Jeez. I mean, she does look sick, but. Oh, she spells it the way my sister spells it, too. No H. What's up? You don't have a Thanks thingy thing? Chat. Goodbye. I feel like he would have a... I don't even know the word. A screwdriver or whatever. The little book of samplers. Surely there is no greater joy for the 19th century woman, young or old, than to bring a piece of life of linen to life with needlepoint, requiring only needle, thread, care, and imagination. The word sampler... Uh, da, 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 comes from the Latin words exemplum, which means example, that which serves as a model. A vest sampler not only allows the creators to crawl blah, blah, blah. acceptable in these modern times for samplers to take many forms. One classic in the long, narrow band sampler, which features bands of... Oh my gosh. You're losing me. Most motifs are naturalistic objects. Here is a list of common motifs. Duck. Marital fidelity. Eagle. America. I knew that. Caw! Caw! Dog, faithfulness, L, wisdom. Sure. Horseshoe, good luck. Any other fun ones? Pineapple. Um, I would say a pineapple is a symbol for something else. Um, I've heard. I mean, I haven't ex tested the theory myself. I heard a pineapple is a symbol for something else. Okay. Um, chairs, domesticity. Yeah, the upside down pineapple specifically. Yes, yes. If, if you know, you know. Alright, well. Alright, well. I'm lost. Oh, I already looked at that. Let's go the other way. It'll be fun. Woo! Better not mess with that puppy. Oh, let's mess with that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! <laughs> that was- that was really intense! That was- oh my god, okay. That happened. Well? <laughs> that was a conk! Yes? What are you working on? I'm writing my next book. I'm on a deadline, yeah, death so number until two. I write those, those two keeping track. most wonderful of all three-letter words, the end. <gasps> Everywhere oh, I go, my barking? laptop goes, and every chance I get, barking? I write. What else do you know about Jake Hurley? You know, the man who originally owned this train? Wealthy, imaginative, adventurous, stubborn, egocentric, and most importantly, he was smitten at the age of 35 by a young French woman named Camille Boulet, who died about a year after they were married. Sorry, these pups are distracting me. Look how intensely she's looking at me. How am I supposed to focus when those eyes are just staring into my soul? <laughs> I can feel her in the back of my head. She is oddly proportioned. Her head is very large now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I don't know what she's barking at. Not having it. Goose is just chilling. He's a little bit just out of frame there. All right, now you're going back to bed. You're fine. All right. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Back to what we were doing. Where was he from? East Coast. Philadelphia, I think. His parents were British aristocrats. Sometime in the 1870s, uh. he decided to seek his fortune out west. So he had this train custom built so that he, and some years later his wife, could traverse the mountains and plains in relative comfort. Ugh. I, I would love a national railway system. <sighs> Sorry, 
got caught up thinking about having a national railway system. So he went west and became a miner? All anyone knows for sure is that years after Camille's death, he showed up in Denver with a pouch full of gold nuggets and semi-precious stones, which he used to purchase mining supplies. He refused to say how he'd come by them. Honestly, sounds like my dream man. Speculation that he had found a fantastically rich vein somewhere. Although to this day, its existence remains unsubstantiated and its location quite unknown. Fun. Why do you think Lori invited you on this trip? No doubt because I'm such an authority on life in the Old West. And because I'm so good at using old information to unearth new information. My knack for research is, well, it's a gift. Oh my gosh, just like me. Oh my gosh, dog shampoos? Thank you for the three months in advance, I appreciate it. It took me a second, I was like, dog shampoos already subscribed. The others thank on you, the thank train, you. John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. Needless to say, I don't She's a watch strong, powerful so woman. I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. Drag them. What is the skirt? Mr. Balducci, from what I've read, What's going on there? His success in solving those robberies was less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. She has got like three. It looks like her accessories. Her sweater and her skirt are for three different outfits, and they're all fighting each other. And I don't know if any of them are winning. <laughs> Unfortunately. Do you think he's a good investigator? No. It's fashion, I guess. I wouldn't get it. Boy Scouts, you're <laughs> with dare you. better detectives. Is that all, dear? Well, I'll let you go. Let me know if you run across anything juicy. Unlike me, wearing black a black t-shirt and gray sweatpants currently. I know fashion. Yeah. We're so 2000 and late. All right, will we blow up? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, I guess we still will. And what were the pipes for? I don't remember. How am I stuck already? Hey, I stuck already. Let's call the engineer up. Engineer. Hi. Is this Miss Gerard? More pipes? In my Nancy Drew game? Uh, yeah. This is Lori. Nice try. Am I just like missing a spot to turn here? I feel like I am. Oh, is it, it's behind there, isn't it? I think that's what it is. That so we need duck in the square. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. It's coming back to me. We gotta look at the sampler again, don't we? I, I'm doing it. But it's not a goose, so that's kind of lame. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. It looks like there's something behind this painting, but I can't seem to move it. What do you mean you can't move an it? Eagle. Where else have I seen an eagle? <laughs> I don't know. When you were dreaming about America last night, Nancy? I don't know. Can't answer these things for you, Nancy. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, no homebound. Da -da 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 -da. All right. One and a square four. We have a three and a seven. I feel like we don't have enough slugs for that either. We're missing one somewhere. Oops. Oops. We're missing something. Me and empath sensing... We're missing something. I've got all these doll names written down though, so I'll be locked and loaded and ready for that. Eee. 
Why is it freaking out now? That DG voodoo, don't fail me now. Minus seven. Uh-oh. It's lagging. It's really lagging. Why would DD Mega Doo Doo do this to me? Okay, there we go. Or, I say there we go. Still being weird. <laughs> Stressing me out. Oh, hey, basement bass. No, please. Mm. Did I load it again? I might. No. No. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Hang on, no one, pay no mind. I can't believe DD Mega Doo Doo failed us like this. Not like them. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. It still works. It'll just be a pain. It was going so well. Here I was thinking I solved it all on my own. Come on. Plus seven. <laughs> Having a hard time getting my little mousey over there. Because my graphics card is too advanced. Okay, we got it to four. And it did nothing. One, one frame per second is fine, right? That's fine. We can manage with that. We don't need more. I don't want to get too greedy. <laughs> it was, okay, now it's working fine. It's just at that one screen. Oh no, it's not just at that one screen. Figure out how you're supposed to move that painting of the eagle. See if how the symbols on the stove are related to the symbol on the sampler. Yeah, I, f I mean, I figured it out, but the game is breaking. Figure out why a square and a duck are on the stove, and if they will have any... Something tells me... It's all like, figure out the scale, dummy dum. Oh, you know what? I should look at the eagle on the sampler. That's what I should do. And that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what we're going to do. Can you believe this game from 2005 isn't optimized to run on modern computers, though? The nerve. Two. Ka! I don't know how we get two out of this, either. Struggling. Struggling. Do, do, do. Struggling. Morning grill. I know. I should be running this on my um my like old crusty dusty PC. Those run these games flawlessly. Would I be able to stream at the same time? No. Um, I'm open to a hint at the moment. I think I've been wandering around lost for long enough. This is why we didn't beat this game as a kid, though. That's for sure. Believe it or not, this is still an improvement on how it was running before. So the DD Mega Nudu is doing something, but... I mean, we can't do the music yet. We can't... Because he's in there. The rule is whatever Ashley says, go. Um, double check the numbers for all the symbols you've seen. You'd be able to open something. I assume so. 
Um, so we've seen the eagle. We've seen um, the square, the duck. I had another one written down. Oh, the cherry and the owl is what we're supposed to be doing. Um... Can we move the scale things? Hmm. Oh. Hang on. Maybe we can't do this now. Hang on. All right. It's gonna it's gonna freak out, but we're gonna do it very slowly. So we're doing the cherry and the owl. It's just seven and ten. We got that, and then we do this very slowly, very cautiously. You could say. Oh my gosh, we did it! And that duck look very familiar. Oh my gosh, Nancy, you just figured out something. Let's just take what we <laughs> what we can get. No, Laffy Taffy, I'd be I'd be upset too. I mean, my parents got rid of RPC long ago. And it does make me sad. I mean, in theory, you can run these on my computer. I'm just bad at it. <laughs> I just am clearly incapable of figuring it out. I think there was also like a virtual desktop thing that you could use that would potentially work. I just saw this that made the game, like, functional, and I was like, hey! We can sort of play it. Well, that was fun. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? Wonder what's supposed to go here? Who knows? Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Yeah, I don't think we know that yet. Ooh! Oh, this will be fun. This is one of those ones where you just guess. Very high security over here. Oh my gosh. Wait, I picked all of them. Eight. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh. Three. One, two. We might be here for a while. Four. Hang on. I can write this down. I'm gonna make it a little easier on myself. One, two, three, four, five. But if I get it perfectly, then I won't need to even write it down. Six. Oh my gosh, guys, something's happening. Oh, <laughs> well, you can't win them all. Yeah. Always get what you want, but sometimes you get what you need. No. Beans on toast. Sorry. Excuse my language. The family friendly event. Alright, let's hop on over the tracks, Nancy. Let's go. Lori? Oh my gosh! I never Look at her just chilling. The one to find me. No offense. Uh, Nadine? Keep Nancy humble. Nancy. Nancy Drew. Well, as you can see, I wasn't really spirited Lori? away by ghosts or anything. <laughs> that bookshelf in the dining car. You step on this thing in the floor in there, and it slides open. I practiced disappearing for weeks. She's a performer. She's an artist. 
So it was just all for show? Well, not entirely. See, here's the deal. My dad wound up with this train when he bought Tell me the deal. shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until finally, here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. That is so fun. She's so fun. Why is everyone uh, hating? I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Because she's fun. Oh, right. She's a performer. Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Except I also found this. <laughs> that it's is like three that pixels. Jake wrote in 1901 to his niece back east. Are supposed to he read was that? real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Because you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. That's he so fun. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train, too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. Ugh, I love How this premise. This Ruth person didn't find the mine decades I love it. ago? Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her nutty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. What about the other people you invited on this trip? If you want to show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille. So I figured his mind might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know. We can I'll go have anywhere. The take us there. Uh, Lori, I think we need to go to Mexico. She does have a capital Bob. Bob, she's serving. How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Oops, I stepped maybe it up. I did. <laughs> Exit it or out. maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. She's so fun. She likes. I bet she puts um, cocktail glasses on her Christmas tree How every well do year. How you your guests? Well, I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. Whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. Honestly, if I was a minor celebrity and I couldn't... Well, I wouldn't invite a cop onto it. But I would love to invite a romance novelist some Nepo baby detectives and a uh, ghost hunter. That sounds like a fun time. What about Charlena Purcell? I just know her from her books, which are this so This is young Sandra good. Lee, 100%. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, The Moon Tells No Lies. I see that. See, what I'd really, really like to do is write romance novels. Everybody who knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. And she hated them. Oh, well. How well do you know Tino Balducci? I met Tino right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing him. eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. His mind's I'll come back later. in there, As soon as you figure probably. it out, let me know. I will let you know, babe. All right. Ooh. Looks like a dance floor, maybe? You just turn it up, Camille. We're dancing. Oh, no, we're not dancing yet. We're not doing that yet. That's not for me right now. At least I don't think. Boop, 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 boop. Locked, naturally. I wonder how you open it. Are you busted open is the answer, Nancy. You busted open. Uh, oh, we still have to look through the letter. We didn't even look at it, right? The 3rd of November, 1901. A brick of text. From somewhere in Colorado. Dear Ruth, I know that we've never well, met, unseated. but now that your father, my estranged brother, is gone, you are my only living relative. I am writing to you to tell you about my mind before I, too, depart this earth 
and its location is lost forever. I cannot tell you outright where it is, lest this epistle fall into the wrong hands. But with the information which follows, and with my train, which shall be yours upon my death, I promise that you'll be able to find it. First, you will need a map. To obtain it, know that my travels have taken me all over this great country, to towns which can be difficult to find, to Calico, Silverado, and Central City, to oh. Dodge City, Virginia City, and Tombstone. To locate the oh, mine dang it. On the map, She's going too fast. Need my projector. I need to write that down. Write that down, write that down. Placing the stones, you'll need to ask <laughs> someone who holds a warm place <laughs> in my heart. I have stored his name accordingly, but to retrieve his name, you'll have to give the dolls an order. This will require looking inside Camille's dancing shoes for the name of their maker and wearing the shoes as you perform oh her my favorite gosh. Step I didn't get it all. Dance floor. As for my beloved Camille, she has four words for you. Words which, when translated into numbers and used in combination, will help power my projector. But alas, she's taken them with her to her grave. So go to this Copper is an info Gorge, dump. Colorado and pay your respects and let some of her goodness rub off on you. All right, we got to rub I off on her grave. Camille that got this it. This train would always be her home. In return, she promised to never leave, and indeed she never has. Ooh, key. People say I'm crazy, but I've seen her and heard her and feel her presence on the train even today, 20 years after her untimely Aww. death. I hope I get to haunt Dan so like that. All else, my dear niece, <laughs> okay. let nothing happen to my train. Oh, I get to. I things. hope I get to spook Dan Thomas out like that one day. Jake Hurley. That'd be so romantic. <laughs> yeah, imagine getting a letter from your weird uncle telling you to rub the grave of your dead aunt. You know? Oh, that's just Jake. That's just Uncle Jake. You know, he's so kooky crazy. All right, I didn't get all the cities. Hang on. We gotta look at that again. Okay, she's not gonna read it to me. Dodge City, Virginia City. Tombstone. Oh, they feel each other on the train. 100%. I gotta stop. I gotta stop before we get too crazy. Alright, this this is fine. It's just the scale that really does not want to happen. Uh, still... Oh, my voice cracked. Silverado. Ooh. Now this is fun. Now this is good family fun. Central... Uh, beans. Beans, beans. Where is it? Eh? Oh. I found it. Don't worry. Wait. Did I, get did I go the wrong way? Oh, no, I didn't. Roll. That was a little tricky. <laughs> the word search being tricky. All right, Dodge City. Dodge City. Oh, I love a word search. We as a society, we owe a lot to word searches. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. We're fine. We are fine. No one panic. I panicked. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I, I did panic. Vir Virginia City. There we go. We got there. And then Tomb. Stone N N V R V T. Bad. Strange. <laughs> All that's left is a yeah, Nancy. Of I know. <laughs> Nancy's falling behind a little bit. Oh, Nancy. Ooh, a I wrench to open that grate I saw in Camille's car. Is it a wrench? I don't I don't know. I don't need to know these things. I don't I don't need to know these things. Nervitzba. That's Nancy's drag name. She's not very good at it. 
That must be the projector Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. All right, Nancy, you don't need to spell everything out for me. Was this where that was? So now we do Nervitzba in the R. I just need a little push, and now I'm going. See, you don't need to worry about me. I remember this game. B. 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 A. A. <laughs> okay. This might this might break my computer, but it's fine. More pipes. We're getting piped up today. All right. <laughs> it's so crunchy. Jake's mind must be somewhere on this. All right, we've narrowed it down where? to anywhere. And I don't even know what area this is. Okay, great. Okay, fabulous. Just peachy. Uh, that's the gemstones and stuff. Hang on, I keep missing. Keep missing things. Just spinning, spinning around. Ooh! Got a slug. Can we grab any of these? No? Really? They're just decorative, I guess. You open the other ones? We can. That's very silver. rare. What do all those colors Ooh. have to do with silver? I know, Nancy. I know. I know what to do. Okay. We need anything else? I accidentally knocked the one Camille calls Naughty Tina. Naughty Tina. Cracked. That's so Naughty Tina. Fractured its tiny skull. Okay. For some reason, we don't want to look at any of these other letters. That's fine. That is just fine with me. Oh, should we look at the dancing shoes now that I think about it? We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Uh, turn it around. Let's do that while we're over here. Dancing queen. Young and sweet. Darn, the name of the shoes is so Darn. Big, I can't tell what it is. Hmm, maybe Bess and George can help me figure out who <laughs> made them. I guess. Ooh. This better not be like <laughs> Can you see that? This is giving me waverly flashbacks. Okay. Send the best. We're sending her bit pick. Bit bit picks. Feet picks. Dead feet picks. Dial. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> I've got to carry this conversation. Have either of you been to Copper Gorge? The name of the company it's that lovely made this Jake's time of year. dancing shoes is too faded to read. But to find Jake's mine, I need to know what it is. What you can do, take a picture of them with your cell phone. I'm way and ahead of you, Bess. And we'll check them out for you. But I thought you guys had to paint Bess's room. Boring. They're painting a beige. Right, Who cares? Take a break soon because we're almost out of paint. Probably because Bess has gotten more on me than she has on the wall. Anyway. Very straight behavior. <laughs> Very straight cousin behavior. Actually, I already sent you a picture of the shoes. Well, then, hey, we're on it. Oh, you guys are the greatest. I know. Need anything else? I get the definite feeling Lori Let's stir the pot a, a little bit while we're here. Balducci. I saw him 
on TV once. He is very cute. Who? Well, he thinks he's the world's greatest detective. And you don't? Let's just say I'm glad he doesn't work for our police department. Yeah, only the best at our police department. He's famous is because he looks good on camera. Well, I think you two are being way too hard on him. Just oh my gosh, not best sucking up for the cop. Maybe Balducci tries to look incompetent on purpose. You know, to give the bad guys a false sense of security so it's easier to catch them. Ever think of that? No, Bess, I never did. Well, there you go. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. All right. Hopefully they'll do that for me. Hopefully they'll they won't let me down. They would never let me down, would they? Yeah, it's not very ACAB lesbian thruple of them, no. I expected better of them. It is the Alicia Marie Twister craft. That's what they're doing with beige paint. We're gonna get lost in there. I'm gonna be able to find them. It's like camouflage. Okay. Anyway, was it over here? Yes, it was. This thing. All right. Orange. Orange. Oh, I think I just reset it. <laughs> the way that spun, I feel like I just reset it. Are you meant to press this? Orange. I never tell. Locks, not my thing. Green. Red. Purple. That, well, that didn't do anything. Did I mess that up? Orange. Orange. Blue. Green. I was so confident. What happened? Red. Purple. What? What? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I... Oh, is it not this one? Oh, did we not take it? The papers Nancy does decide to take always amazes me. Um, sequence of six colors. Orange, blue, green. Oh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Oh, I gotta walk all the way back. She didn't take the paper! Nancy! I'm missing a color. That's so unlike me. Someone like me to not write it down properly. I'm all about the details. All right, fine. Have it your way. Yeah, it does appear. It would appear that I was wrong. And there is. I did miss a color. Sue me. You know, sue me. And Nancy, for some reason, decided to leave this handy dandy little note back here. I don't know why she decides to do these things. Frankly, I'm too scared to ask. Gosh, which drawer was it in? Okay, thank you. Orange, blue, green, yellow. Yellow. Yellow was my favorite color for a long time, but honestly, I feel like I've been in my green phase for quite a bit now. I don't know. I don't like that my favorite color changes with the trends. I do still like yellow, don't get me wrong. Like a good mustard yellow. But I really do like the sage green. I use it a lot. The vibe. Alright. Now we're back. Reset this. Um, orange. Blue. Green. Red. Purple. Yellow. Oh my gosh, I thought 
I thought it wasn't gonna work again. Wilson Carbide and Acetylene Works. Do they think I'm gonna read this? How am I? I don't read cursive. I read English. Good old American English. I have sent you two lamps, which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place carb carbide in the lower chamber, water in the upper chamber, then use the built-in flint lighter to ignite the jet of gas which results. I'm getting a migraine reading this. As you'll see, the carbide lamp is an exceedingly practical device, especially for people in your dark and dangerous line of work. Would that or I had invented it. <laughs> yeah. In your last letter, you sounded quite... I'm like the kid that like... <laughs> I'm the kid that everyone really regrets popcorning to in class. Y'all are suffering through this. In your last letter, you sounded quite despondent, old chum. I suppose this is understandable in view of your failure to strike it rich. Oh. <laughs> All right. But I am living proof of how quickly... Misfortune can turn into good fortune. This is a pyramid scheme. I think he's trying to sell them into a pyramid scheme. Little did I suspect five years ago that my attempt to produce aluminum would instead produce calcium carbide. Ho, ho, ho. Or that calcium carbide, when placed in water, would release acetylene. Ashley. <laughs> That's what that says. Yet suddenly, I was the surprised but happy owner of the patent for an inexpensive way of manufacturing an extremely flammable gas. The ATAC? Yeah, this is the ATAC marketing pamphlet. Just as I become wealthy... Just as I become wealthy when I've sold that patent... Why am I reading this? I have no doubt that you too will someday be Always handsomely... Friend, Thomas Wilson. Handsome. May the lamps I sent you light your way to the gold you seek. Or you could just send them money if you're that rich, all right? It looks like a pattern for some kind of dance step. All right. Maybe I'd better keep this. We're going to take a screenshot of that. All right. All right. I'm going to check off some stuff because I feel like I've done some things. Still have to do that. I'm done with that. I'm done. Haven't done that yet. Ooh. Finish that. Can't check. Can't check that off yet. Use that weird, that. strange tool. Check. It's a wrench. Still haven't done that yet. Oh, can't Nancy. Nancy's yet. never done, done that yet. Can't check that off yet. A chore in Still her life. Do that. Haven't done that. Oh my yet. gosh! I Finish thought. That. What have I done? Really? I'm done with that. I'm done with. That. Haven't done that yet. Haven't done that yet. Check. Find Lori. Check. Oh yeah, where was that thing where we could wrench some stuff? Was that here? Or it might be elsewhere. Chores are for poor people. Not for Nancy. Certainly not for a minor celebrity like Nancy Drew. Becca Sawyer, whatever, whatever she goes by these days. Okay. I think it was over here. Oops, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Never mind. Never mind. Dang it. Oh, stupid. I looked at the wrong thing. Must be a professional. Alright. Um Hey Nancy. Oh what's no. with the Cheshire Cat grin? You found Lori. <laughs> Yep, she's holed up in the I like to imagine Nancy just like her, Joker smiling this. at them. It's a letter from Jake to his niece in which he leaves clues telling her how to find his mine. Only the clues are extremely obtuse. You found Lori. You got the letter with all the clues. Guess you don't need us anymore. Oh, Aww. Joe, quit pouting. Yes, you're Wanna an help? American teen for crime kidding? now. You bet I do. Now you're talking. <laughs> we don't need to hype men up ne unnecessarily, Nancy. It stands to reason that the only person other than Jake who had to have known the location of Jake's mine was the engineer on Jake's train. Very true. Not necessarily. Jake might not have told him the exact location. Maybe he just had him drop him off somewhere nearby. Well, still, we'd be way ahead of the game if we knew where that drop-off point was. If the engineer had any surviving relatives, we may be in luck. 
Ancestry.com. years ago. How are we supposed to find out his name? 23 and me. Maybe Charlena what's her face could tell us Let's how to start go about swapping it. people. Good idea, Frank. I'll ask her. Just shove some Q-tips in people's mouth. You better ask permission later. You know? You know? Oh yeah. Can we do that yet? I don't think so. Wait, where was the weird bolt thing? Now I don't even remember. Click, click. Click, click. I'll find it. Don't worry about me. I will find it. There's one thing about me. But I'm gonna find it. It's the last thing I do. Mm -mm. In here somewhere. You still doing your thing? Oh yes. Oh yes. That tool I saw in the caboose. I bet that's what you use to unscrew yes, these Nancy, bolts. Yes, Nancy. I know. I know. Oh. Oh no. It's a puzzle. All right, that moves independently. Ugh, this is so rude. That was already in the right spot. I don't know why I did that. That wasn't necessary on my part. All right, those are lined up. Oh, not anymore. Oop, not anymore. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. How does this one move? Oh, that one moves that one. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. That one moves by itself. We got it, we got it. There we More go. Pipes to connect. More pipes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they said not one, but two pipe puzzles in this game. You're eating well tonight. Oh my gosh, the pipes move in this one. Pipes move. Ugh. Now that's just not fair. Not fair. How does that work? Explain that, liberals. I bet you can't. Oh, go. I did it. Oh, it actually wasn't that hard. <laughs> Is there another pipe puzzle that I'm forgetting? I have... I swear I've, like, watched... This. Wait, did we not get anything? Oh, wait, we can do the steam thing now. We can do the steam thing, perhaps? Unless there's another goddamn pipe puzzle. <laughs> On this train. And we'll find out. We'll find out. Worst comes to worst, we blow up the train. Risk case scenario, we all blow up and die. That's the ominous smiley face. That is very ominous indeed. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think there's more pipes. I think I said it before. There's more pipes behind uh -oh, this thingy. That doesn't look good. We need to go to the fucking scale again, don't we? Do we have the... Do one and four. Uh, we can do one. Oh yeah, we can. We can. Oh, I'm remembering. I'm remembering. A lot of walking up and down this train, huh? Ach, kiss my ass, indeed. <laughs> oh, I know. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. There's so many pipes on this train. So many pipes and no Ned Nickerson in sight, huh? <laughs> what if it was my fault? <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. I can't even think about it, frankly. Eee. 
I really can't say the word frankly without thinking of Frank's little wax figure face every time. I really can't. All right, one. And then get off of there. And then get off of there. Very slowly get off of there. Okay, and then do do do. This may be hurting my speed run speed. Not gonna lie. Did that do anything? Did that do it? I don't hear any sounds. Uh uh oh. Also I can't can I back out? Whatever, I'm scared. Whatever, that was scary. The game dev who made the pipes? I don't know if you're joking or not. <laughs> you probably are. I assume. But how evil of you. Honestly, the Her Interactive team would just lurk in people's Twitch streams. 20 years after they made their game, just to roast people <laughs> who can't manage to put things on the scale because the game is falling apart. That is so her, her interactive coded. I wouldn't put it past them. No, why didn't it work? I did one in four. Did I not? Oh, and I got to walk all the way back. And yeah, no one lies on the internet. No, yeah, I figured, I was hoping you were joking, but I also, there was a little part of my brain that was like, I don't know, anything's possible in this world. In this cruel, cruel world. Oops. Let's not do that. Let's just call Bess, because I, I don't feel like dealing with that today. I love it. <laughs> okay, I love that. All right. I'll figure that out later. I'll deal with that later. Hello? Me again. Just checking to see whether you were able to find out the name of those dancing shoes yet. Your wish is our command, but hang on to your hat. The name is a real mouthful. The shoes were made by Chaussette Chateauillant. C-H-A-U-S-S-E-T-T-E-S. C-H-A-T-O-Y-A-N-T-E-S. That's French for shimmering socks. Apparently, if you were into dancing in the 1870s, that was the company to get your shoes from. Chaussette Chateauillant. Got it. And Thanks, that guys. rolled right off of Thanks Nancy's tongue. How do I make the scales work, Bess and George? Why doesn't it like me? Why does it break the game? I go. We'll be right here. Yeah, washing the paint out of our hair. All right. We're going to do the dancing shoes thing next because I don't want to deal with it. I know I have to do the scale eventually, but I... I'm going to ignore my problems. 100%. 100%. Alright. Do do do. Anyways, how y'all doing? Anyways, how are the folks at home doing? We do have fun here. Alright. Uh, dancing shoes. I remember what I was doing. Of course. Of course. I always remember what I'm doing. Aw, kitty cat. I'm actually... Whoa! Whoa. We didn't get comped in the head this time. Emergency break. Oh. The question <laughs> is... They appeared. Did somebody throw the break? Or something. Oh, Joe, now you sound like Lori. Hey, I was the first one on the scene. He's just I asking questions. No I looked at cars, then got sad. Oh. Um, I was gonna say before I lose my train of thought, I was kind of thinking about going on allergy shots. And I am super allergic to cats. But my allergies generally have gotten pretty bad. Like, over the past year. So I may just do it. And then I could potentially get a cat. Like, after a year or two. It would be pretty exciting. Oh, hi, Weather Nerdy Boy! What did the engineer say? 
He said the train could have derailed. He reset the brake, muttered a few choice words, then headed back to the engine just as you and Lori showed up. Yeah, Everybody just so they didn't have to model Charlena. him. I don't think she left her laptop the whole time. She's a gamer. She's on Minecraft. There's no way Lori could have thrown the brake unless she had someone else do it. The question is, why? What did she or anybody else stand to gain by stopping the train? Answer? Nothing. Which is why I think we should at least consider the possibility the only thing that something is, Goose less would human in nature may be work here. Oh, Joe. We would need to find a very I'm patient to cat to put up with Goose. For fingerprints. Catch you later. Also, maybe a cat would be good to um, put Goose in his place a little bit. <laughs> I hear you found our hostess. Congratulations. Did you know that Lori wants to be a romance novelist? <sighs> Doesn't everyone? <laughs> oh, okay. Do you think she could do it? No. Could we please talk about something a little more pleasant? She's a real writer. She has an AO3 account. Who's, uh, there's a lot of outdoor cats in our neighborhood, which I don't like conceptually. And he always wants to chase them. Um and run up to them it's just he has no I, I say this a lot about him he has no concept of boundaries and personal space so he won't listen to a cat's signals of being like go away so i don't think he would hurt the cat i think the cat would hurt him <laughs> how would i go about finding out the name of He's just head empty engineer. if you're smart you'd ask me and Charlena's because my work OTP. is going surprisingly well during my next break i'll log on to my archives at home and see what i can turn up That'd be great. Thank you. Whoever invented the cellular modem, that's whom you should thank, dear. Um, she's a Dramione shipper, for sure. She's reading some Dramione smut on there. I can feel it. Would you like to see the letter that Lori gave me as a reward for finding her? The one in which Jake Hurley supposedly tells his niece how to find his lost mine? No, thank you. I happily leave it to you to try to solve the mystery of his disappearance. He doesn't have time for you that. You can afford to look foolish, dear. I can't. Okay. Well, I'll let you go. <laughs> well, remember, if it's juicy, I want to know about it. She's here to judge, and that's it. She came here to do two things: write her Dramione smutvic, and judge everyone. Yeah, just an insane crack ship too. Like, um, let me see, Dipper and Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. Some something unhinged or Wunsler Wunsler. Wunsler Wunsler. Merp. Oh, we need to talk to Tino. I'll talk to Tino first. The train is shaking. Well, it's the little lady detective. Don't call what me do that. Mean? I found Lori. She was hiding in the caboose. Oh, yeah? She disappeared because she wanted to see who'd find her first, which is why she left that clue behind. That slug? I mean, I knew that slug was a clue. That's why I gave it to you. I mean, I could have found Lori no sweat. But I thought, hey, why not give somebody else a shot? And you came through. Nice job. Thank you. But look, from now on, if you come across thank anything you. that may have something to do with Jake hurling his mind, let me know, okay? But just so I can, you know, give you advice, help you sort things out. After all, the opportunity to work side by side with a world famous police detective doesn't come along every day, you know. Yeah, Jane Mulcahy's video, Laffy Taffy. I've seen that. I love her stuff. If y'all don't watch Jane Mulcahy, I mean, watch the Degrassi video. I feel like it's her most popular one, but she always, she always has good stuff. She feels like if you like Jenny Nicholson um, or Lindsay Ellis, I feel like she has a very similar vibe, but she talks about like movies and, and books and she's doing like a Teen Wolf series. She talks about Lifetime movies a lot. Did you find any Love fingerprints Jane. on the emergency brake handle? None that were any help. Thanks to Casey Jones up there. I told the old geezer not to touch anything, but he went and got his big, fat, oily paw prints all over the place. If all we didn't over. need him to drive the train, I'd charge him with obstruction of justice. That just reminded me, the way he said that. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all have ever read the gr 
red been on the guardians of the galaxy ride at disneyland but there's this part at the beginning where rocket the little raccoon guy from guardians of the galaxy comes out and he's like we need y'all to put your hands in the air so that you like because so your hands will scan and he says my hands don't scan in like Bradley Cooper, I'm doing a really bad impression of the Bradley Cooper New York accent, but it's my favorite thing to say. I say it literally all day when we're in Disneyland. I look forward to that moment. It's the best thing. My hands don't scan, see? We need your hands to scan. Oh, our hands will scan. So you have no idea who threw all the All over the place. Whoa, I didn't say that. As a matter of fact, I found this probably fell out of the perp's pocket while it was yanking on the handle. Looks like some kind of thermometer. Yeah, like the kind a certain ghost hunter uses on that bogus show of his. You think John Gray threw the break? But why would he do that? Because they're thinking about axing his show, that's why. I checked with this buddy of mine in L.A. Gray's got to come up with something real big real soon, or he's toast. And you can't get much bigger than a train with a spooky past that's prone to strange spooky. accidents, now can you? Have you confronted John with your suspicions? All in due time. I always like to get my ducks in a row before I make an arrest. <laughs> Not an arrest. You're going to arrest him? Hey, the train could have derailed. We're talking reckless endangerment, attempted assaults, maybe even attempted murder. John Gray wanted publicity. That's exactly what I'm going to give him. Yeah, someone else made a... I'm blanking on her name, but I watch her a lot too. Someone else made a really good Teen Wolf video. What's her name? I'll look her up. Meet, meet, meet. Or she also makes uh, Bridgerton videos. Why am I blanking on her name? I watch her all the time too. No! Not me frantically looking up her name. Julia Cudney, thank you. <laughs> I like her too. How did you and Lori meet? We met at a party in New York. Nice girl. Not a lot of stairs, but nice girl. All right. Okay, you didn't need to say she that. She seems to have a thing for your eyes. Yeah, she always told me they were... I mean, she told me once that she thought... Yeah, I hate him too. You know, brown. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Helping people is what well, I'm all about. That's enough of that. He is so cop. That's so cop of him. First, the evidence gets compromised, and he's already ready to make an arrest, anyways. Whatever. Whatever, dude. All right, well, we'll confront him for you. I found Lori safe and sound in the caboose, so I guess those vibes you got about her being in serious trouble were wrong. Strange. My vibes are never wrong. <laughs> vibes are never is, wrong. I'm still getting them. So maybe they're not about Lori. Maybe they're about you. Ooh. I'm confused. Are you a scientist or a psychic? I happen to be both. What's commonly referred to as psychic phenomena is all a matter of energy. Just because we don't know where that energy is generated or how to measure it yet, doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Trust me, either you or Lori is, or soon will be, in big trouble. I mean, I won't rule out Lori getting killed off in this game. <laughs> I don't know. I won't confirm or deny. Could you be more specific? Unfortunately, no. It's almost like she's still here. Are you by any chance missing a Alive small in my digital heart. thermometer? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. When I went through the box I'd packed them mm. in, that one over there, I came up one short. I was hoping to set Why up did you here leave so these packing the peanuts spots. on the ground? I, I hate I that. Was one. Because Tino Balducci the found cable it hanging the out of the box. Break handle when he was dusting it for fingerprints, and now he thinks you're the one who pulled it. That's ridiculous. I, I didn't have any reason to pull the emergency brake. Is it true that your show is in That's danger not of true. being canceled? That's not true, Ellen. Slash, my show was canceled. Happened last night. But what nobody knows yet is that it's been picked up by a major TV network. Not only am I still on the air, but I'm sitting prettier than ever. Any other questions? Were you in this room the whole time prior to that emergency break thing? 
Of course not. I made a couple of trips to my compartment in the sleeping car to get more equipment. But did I get an overpowering urge to pull the emergency brake while I oh, was Oh, I there? did. No. <laughs> I did. I got conked in the head. How did Tino not get conked in the head when he pulled that emergency brake? I won't keep you any longer. Come back anytime. Well, he's doing that. He's up to that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, we got to do the dancing shoe thing. We we were on our way to do that, and then we got distracted by the emergency brake. Tino is too thick skull to be conked. That's actually an excellent point. Very true. Extra head protection. All right. Let's do this. Hang on, I gotta pull up my screenshot real quick. Not that. Not that. All right, there we go. Hang on. Dancing shoes. Dancing queen. Young and sweet. Go to the dancing floor. Oh, where's my screenshot? Where's my, where'd my screenshot go? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Ugh, that's hard to read. Dart. Dart. All right, we're back. Right. And then, wow. Left. Then three is here. Four here. Boom. I said a boom, chicka boom. Eight. And then. Oh, I might have messed up. Her feet are really stretching along. Oh, I messed up. I goofed it. Hang on. I skipped a step. All right. One. I was about to say, her legs are really stretching across this floor. We're dancing. Oh, we're dancing. I appreciate everyone dancing in the chat as well. All right. Four. Five. And they call this one uh, Gangnam Style, I believe. Seven. Yeah, that's the one I missed before. And then... Nine. Ten. Woo! Oh, you are horrifying, aren't you? A little turd falling out. Another gemstone. Woo! Woo! Yeah, that was terrifying. Guess Camille liked to collect dolls. Okay. So now we got to put the dolls in the order of that French word. And they all have names that I've been writing down as we've gone gone through with like little hints as to who they are. So there's like Yawning Alice, Awful Ursula, Eliza Sandberger. I don't know why, she, why it had to be this way, but <laughs> they all look incredibly angry. So let me see. Awful Ursula. Is that Awful Ursula? Or is that Awful Ursula? Hmm, hard to say. Hard to say. That's awful, Ursula. He looks pissed. Um, what's CH? CH is the first one. Um, 
Chantilly Hildegard. Which one is that? Which one is that? Do do do. And then this one. That might already be in the right place. Okay, and then A U S S. SS is Sickly Sarah. So which one has green? Matt, Matt. Matt. That's that's somebody. That's Edna the Terrible. That's not that's not Sickly Sarah. Is that Sickly Sarah? No, that's the one that cracked. That's Naughty Tina. <laughs> that's my girl Naughty Tina. Okay, that's definitely Sickly Sarah. Okay. Hang on. Okay. And then S E is next. S E. Did I spell it wrong? I guess Sadie Crawford next. Mm, we're gonna skip that one. D e I. Or did I spell that one right? Or is it T E next? This is what happens when you don't write the very organized notes. Is it Thomas? There's Thomasina O'Neill. Hang, hang on, hang on. I'm getting lost in the sauce. There are some that we definitely know. Which one said... Alright, that one, the cracked one, is Naughty Tina. Naughty Tina goes second to last. Or... Wait, that's not Naughty Tina, is it? Or is that... Hmm... We're gonna put her here, for now. Naughty Tina did break her head. I have cracked next to Naughty Tina. I think is her... But also, what happened to What happened here? <laughs> But also, what happened here? There was one that said Mama. I know who that one is. Which one was that? One of them said Mama. One, one of y'all said Mama. That's, um, Yawning Alice. So, Yawning Alice... I think she goes there. Yawning Alice, and then, um, yeah, Yawning Alice, Naughty Tina. Okay, I think those two are right. And then, um, E, O, that's Thomas O'Neill. There's only, like, two boys. This, to me, this girl is terrifying. Terrifying. Now I'm working my way backwards. And then Hager... Anderson is the other boy. I don't know who Hager Anderson is. I don't know her. And then Sadie Crawford has two left feet. I can't even tell who has two left feet. I can't even tell from this who has two left feet. Oh, this is. Wait, is this Sadie? I've lost track of what we skipped. Who are you? Who are you again? I think that's Sadie. She do has she has the dogs out. I think that is Sadie, because she's missing her shoes. Okay. And then that would be Sadie Crawford. And then this would be Teddy Eberhardt then. And then, who would this be? Who would play her? Oh wait, did I skip one? Oh, I skipped one, I skipped one. Hang on, hang on. Forgot that we skipped one. So these all need to be moved over. One. And then, um, yes, you. And I'll just put her there. Because I forget. We didn't know, we don't know who goes there yet. Um, what have we done? Uh, what, what have we done? Which one of you says mama? Say it. Or is it one of you? 
You already say it, and I'm just forgetting this. Do they not say it again? I swear. Y'all better have heard it, or I just sound wild. One of them did. I know one of you talked. Or I'm losing my mind. Okay. Let me see. Who else do I have left? I have Awful Ursula. No, we don't have Awful Ursula, yes. Eliza Sandberger. I thought she said it every time you picked her up, but maybe I'm wrong. All right, but I think we're close. I think these three are correct. I think um, these two and these three are correct. It's just these three dolls in the middle that we just got to figure out. There, there you are. I found you. Okay. So she goes here. So let's try switching these. Okay. So then I guess these two have to be swapped, hopefully. Unless I got something else wrong. Mm, uh oh. Let me see. Do they do 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 do? Uh. Nina. You're Eliza. You're Eliza. You have the red ribbon because you're Eliza. You go at the end. Okay, these all need to be moved down one. That's what's wrong. Okay. I got it. I got it. Uh oh. <laughs> um. Do, do, do. What's wrong? Bring your bee, bring your bear, bring your bear, bring your bear, turn it there, bring your bring your Who knows? I was so confident that that was that. Which one's wrong? Okay, hang on. I need to retrace my step. B H is. Chantilly Hildegard. I think I'm pretty sure that's Chantilly Hildegard, vaguely from the picture. Awful Ursula has like the red hair, and then it's Sickly Sarah. That's definitely Sickly Sarah. And then this one I didn't know. I think this was the one I was missing. Um, this is one of the boys. I guess the boys could be swapped. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. This is very tedious. Um, Hager. No, we're not at Hager Anderson. Are we already here? No, this is Thomas O'Neill, but I'm not really sure about that one either. That one's kind of a guess. And then... Where's the Chantilly Hill guard go here? There's two CHs. Or no. No, it's SC, Sadie Crawford. Yeah, it's Sadie Crawford, two left feet. That's right. And then Hager Anderson, which again, we're kind of guessing on the boys, but I guess they're not swapped the wrong way. Awful Ursula. Oh, not Awful Ursula. Um, uh, not Yawning Alice. Yawning Alice is after that. What is this one? Amasina O'Neill. Okay. I think I have it right. Which is not a good sign. Because then that's Eliza Sandberger. What does that mean then if I have it though? Okay, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up because I'm scared. Do I walk away? Oh, did that reset them all? 
Oh, maybe that's what it is. Because I didn't know one of them. Which one didn't I know? I think Hotchkiss here. Hotchkiss my ass. I think that might be what's wrong. I don't know who's I haven't looked at. All right. That's so tedious, though. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to look. I'm going to make sure. Well, now I can't check if I work. I'm going to look it up. Okay. This has a list of like where they're seen. Picture with candle at Jake's car. Maybe we didn't check that one. I did I did look at that one. Okay. Oops, not that. Likely Sarah, Edna the Terrible. I definitely saw that one. Plaid box, yeah. Shoes of the dining car. You never knew this took place on a train. It's the last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Hager Anderson, picture with Camille. Okay, I remember that. Thomasina O'Neill, hair ribbon on drawer at Camille's car. Maybe... No, because I wrote that down. We did see that one. Home at Sleepy Car. Paper. Bridal couch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we're just going to check things again, just to make sure. Unless it's, like, just a bug? But that's so unlike this game. It's been running so well. Also, I thought we'd be able to pick up that gem, but I guess not. The train transitions are scary. Okay. Camille with Hager. Camille with Hager Anderson and Chantilly Hildegard. Okay, maybe we have to like really look at these things. All right, I'm gonna look at um the picture again. Even though I did see it, we're just gonna be extra sure. We're not taking any chances. Oh, I definitely clicked on the picture. Oh, that's not the picture. <laughs> Hang on, that's not the picture. Which picture are they talking about? Picture with candle at Jake's car. Which one's Jake? This is Camille's car. Um, I remember which one. Jake's car. Who has the time to remember that? Or maybe we should just try it with that one. Oh, you're right. Chantilly Hildegard was what I just looked at. You're so right. Tino Balducci's in Jake's room. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's see if that voice cue did it. Because sometimes Nancy Drew games are like... You can't solve the puzzle until you click on this very specific thing. And until then, no progression for you. Dang, I really was solving that puzzle on my own, though. Was I not? I'm pretty sure I was. I guess we'll never know, because I <laughs> accidentally reset it before I could check my work. Thank you. I appreciate the validation. All right. Hang on. Let me pull up the picture on the walkthrough. Okay. Accidentally reset everything. Now this is tedious. She goes there. Um, She goes like... There somewhere. He goes here. He goes here. He goes there. Uh, 
Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. It's not right yet. It's not right yet. Oh, thank God. Ah, we did it. Woo! Now that's fun. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it. Pretty sure. All right, now we got more slugs. My, f so we can do my favorite way things. Yes. I hear that Tino and you used to be an item. How did you know that? I'm a good detective. Remember? We love We've gossiping. Been out a couple of times, yeah. As for why we stopped going out, you'd have to ask him. T. Do you have any idea who threw the emergency break? I know exactly who did it. How do you know? Well, who else could it be? Camille. None of us has any reason to stop oh. the train, but Camille. No, oh. well, that's she not a real answer. But it's fun. So she's going to do whatever she can to keep its location a secret. Did you see something? Did he slept? Well, no. But I'll tell you what. Your friend, that Jim Harley guy? Not Jim, Joe. Joe Hardy. Yeah, well, he thinks it's Camille, too. He just doesn't have the guts to say so. Bye. I'll be waiting. Yeah, Joe, be a man. Say how you feel. Man, I can't believe it would only let me do that puzzle once you zoomed in. Enhance the image. That's rotted. That's rotted. Anyways, we gotta do the scale thing now. I've been putting it off. But I'm for sure we can do it now. For sure, for sure. Okay. Now, because now we got so many little things. We can do... One. It's on there. One. And... Four. Oh, I should save. You're right. Why is that not working? Or do I need to progress it up to that thing? Oh yeah, I shouldn't have thought about saving right when I'm at here where the game freaks out. Er, whoops. Save. What if I hit load? That would be a nightmare. The scale not weighted out properly, perchance? The sampler doesn't mean anything? Huh. No, it's there, but it's not lit up. I don't understand. Or does it need to be like one and four, one on each side? I don't get it. I don't get it. I thought you do a one, and then one plus three is four. Is that not correct? Or is the duck and square not even one plus four? Am I just imagining that? I don't even know. You know what? I'm accepting. I'm accepting defeat on this dang scale. I'm just gonna look, because I already have the walkthrough pulled up. I hate this scale. It breaks the game. Okay. Scale for the square and the duck. Uh, the square's number is four and the duck is one. Yes. They are the third and fourth light. So there's a need to use only three slugs and then four. Oh! See, that's what I wasn't getting. See, my little pea brain hadn't figured out that the lights mean that you need to have three to four things on the scale. Okay. Place one to two on the pan. Is three. I already took it off and take out eight, leaving seven alone on the other plant and pan. Okay. So this way. Other way. Other way around. I was. I thought that might be the case, but that's a lot of effort. Ugh. All right. Let's slowly move it across. I swear, we are getting off this train if it's the last thing we do. I'm not going down like this. I refuse. Alright. Three. Oh my god. 
game is not having it. All right. Ugh. Come on. Come on. This is the most intense part of the game. Okay. All right. We have the duck lit up. And then... It's eight on one square. Do, do, do. Oh, where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. And then... I don't get this puzzle either. I mean, I do a little bit, but it's math. Who needs it, really? I'm... Okay. Did that do it? I heard the little clicky. That made it sound like it did something. Let's go turn around and see. I did what the walkthrough told me to do, so surely... Surely I wouldn't be punished for following the walkthrough. Can't wait to see more pipes. My favorite. My favorite. You think you need both square and duck lit up at the same time? I don't want to believe that. <laughs> I don't want to believe that. I also was thinking that. But I didn't want to believe that was true. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, dang it. Dang it. The order mattered. Order mattered. Why? Ow. It did make a sound. It would be open up, I'm assuming, if it had worked. It didn't look like it had worked. Um, sure, I'll take a spoiler. I mean, I'm literally looking at the walkthrough and following the walkthrough's instructions and it's not working. <laughs> but the walkthrough says to, um, do the square and then the duck. And I did the duck and the square. So I'm assuming that I shouldn't have done that. I'm assuming that's where I went wrong. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. But we're going to do the um, three plus eight first. Three. Yeah, th this walkthrough isn't bullying me like the machinery M1. Never forget. Okay. And then, oh, this we have this the wrong way, don't we? Uh, don't do that to me. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, this will be an easy puzzle for you to walk through, assuming your computer is fully functioning. That's what that walkthrough writer would say. Assuming you're a f not a flop who has a functionless, silly little computer run by DD Mega Doo Doo. All right. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Okay, we put that down. It's made a noise. Place one and two on the pan. <laughs> this is how I die. Now I'm taken out. This is how I, how it goes. There. With any luck, I just open the stove in the dining car. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gee, oh boy. I love that puzzle. That's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Oh, it doesn't matter if the numbers are positive neg or negative? Well, that's silly. <laughs> well, I think that's silly and wrong. And... Honestly, a little immoral. 
<laughs> Whatever, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, can we not take the gems out yet? I guess not. We're gonna need those. Yeah, emphasis on immoral. 100%. But it's fine, I'm over it. I'm so over it. James Thurston. Here I agree to pay James Thurston the sum of $9 a week. Woo! Alright. Probably ask Charlena about that, or maybe the boys. Nancy, you missed it. Missed what? The argument of the century. <gasps> Joe, he's exaggerating. Oh, come on. You heard him. They were ready to tear each other to shreds. Drama. Drama oh. at the kick. Charlena and Lori. All we heard was the tail end of it, and unfortunately, we really couldn't make out what they were saying. I'm so seated. you don't know what they were arguing about? No. But whatever it was, both of them were absolutely out of their minds, livid. And it would probably be a good idea to find out why. Let me look into it. I'll talk to you later, okay? You know where to find us. Honestly, I think Joe's look definitely aged the most gracefully out of the two. Mr. Puffer Vest More is just questions. giving, like, Silicon Valley. What were you and Lori arguing about earlier today? Lori and I? We weren't arguing. We were simply discussing a topic about which both of us are passionate. It does also look like a molded piece of plastic as well. You weren't angry? No. And even if we were, that's really none of your business. I know that sounds harsh, but really, Nancy, eavesdropping is so tacky. Damn. Actually, it was Frank and Joe Hardy who overheard you. They said I should talk to you before they gave me all the gory details, but since you obviously don't want to tell Stir me that pot, the Nancy. story, I'll just have to get the scoop from them. No, no, you don't have to do that. A storyline that Lori submitted to me <sighs> found its way into my last book, despite the fact that she never received compensation for it. She's oh reading the book now, and when she got to that part, she freaked. You stole one of her ideas? She had no business sending me unsolicited material, but technically... The drama. Yes. Now, legally, she can't prove anything. And oh, my I'm gosh. certainly not about to admit anything. And it's not as if she needs the money. <laughs> I think you just did. But that's what we were arguing about. I think you just did. For what it's worth, I'm going to talk to this producer I know to see if he'll cast Lori in his next movie. It'll help ease my conscience, and who knows? She could wind up being a star. I mean, she is blonde. Yeah, Laffy Taffy, I was thinking the exact same thing, but I blanked on her name. Cassandra Clare, Mortal Instruments Corps, 100%. Well, I'll let you go. Remember, if it's juicy, I want to oh, know. Oh, you have fun with that. Anyways, what are we doing now? Still have to do that. I'm done with that. Oh, right. I guess we were too caught up in the to gossip. That. Check. I'm done with that. Do, 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 do. Check. Check. Can't check that off yet. Still, still have to do that. Finish that. Finish that. Okay, there we go. I haven't done that yeah, yet. Yeah, haven't done that yet. All right, well, let's go talk to the boys again once more. Hey, how's it going? I think I know the name of Jake Hurley's engineer, James Thurston. Great. What else do you know about him? Well, nothing. Good. Good. Yeah, finding out more about him will give us something to do. We'll yeah, please. Please. Balducci wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Hurley with him. I'll bet he does. He just doesn't want you to show him up again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork so at the last minute, bam, bam, he can swoop in and grab all the credit. I wouldn't tell him a thing, Nance. Unless it's to get lost. Tino found one of John Gray's thermometers by the emergency brake handle and is getting ready to throw the book at him. John Gray threw the emergency brake? Why would he do that? Tino thinks it's because John's TV show is in danger of being canceled. But when I asked John, he told me his show was just picked up by a broadcast network. I still say there's less to all this than meets the eye, if you get my drift. I all get right. your drift, Joe. I have lived with your drift for years. I am That's a strong with your ghost. Drift. All right, all right. I think that ghost got bonked in the head. Talk to you later. You better. Anyways. When do we start getting to take the the gems out? Like, why can't I take you? I want to take you. 
I guess not. Better not mess with that puppy. I guess. I guess. Hmm. Hmm. I can go back to Lori and talk about the drama. I do love checking that checklist, though. That's what keeps me going. Hmm. What's up? So are you making any progress in here? Oh, yeah. Not only am I getting some real unusual EMRs, that's electromagnetic readings, but take a look at this. <gasps> You've got something? I set up a camera and took some time-lapse photos. Sometimes I was in the room, sometimes I wasn't, but somewhere along the line, I managed to get a shot of Camille. Where? That's... You don't mean that little blob, do <laughs> That's you? a lens flare. Yep, that's Camille. Oh okay. my gosh, she's so skinty. You're skeptical. That's cool. Just remember, the key word when it comes to ghostly phenomena is energy. Indie legend Camille. Is a result of Camille's residual life it looks force, great. Spirit, if you will, reacting with the chemicals in the photographic paper. Couldn't it just be a flaw in the photographic paper? Okay, it could be that too, but it's not. Trust me. I, I trust you. Longer. Goodbye. <laughs> I just looked over at the walkthrough, by the way, and um, I didn't even notice it says stove in the kitchen. Click on the stove door and read the work pay receipt for James Thurston, the engineer. Phone. You might want to call the engineer every once in a while. He might be lonely alone in his cab. And that's all it says. Make sure to check on your boy. <laughs> now that's a great walkthrough. Glad you dropped in. I love Lori hitting on the engineer. I a letter from Jake Hurley that says how to find his mind. I didn't mention it before because it's very bizarre. Lori should have given that to me. I mean, I'm the trained mm. professional around here. Let me take a look. Wait, just floated uh, over there. Uh, sure. I've seen enough. Two words. It's like paper Use airplanes. Less. Those are just the rantings of a guy who spent way too much of his life swirling mud around in pans under the hot sun. Five star nut job. Lori says she found this letter in a wastebasket. Exactly where it belongs. How come you told me you and Lori never went out and she told me you did? That's not true, Don't you Ellen. Ever stop asking questions. I'm a detective. You know how it is. <sighs> My dumpster, okay? I'm not proud of what I did. Oh boy. I'm not happy about what I did, but it's done. It's over. Now let's drop it. I hope so, for her sake. If you didn't want to dump her, why did you? You are incredibly irritating, you know that? I dumped her because because people said going out with her would make me look. Oh bad. my gosh. Said she was the a egos joke, of men. That no one took her seriously. Said if I started hanging with her, no one would take wow. me seriously. So I stopped calling. Him? But you didn't stop caring. Oh, blah. Did you ever tell Lori any not of this? Not saying that. No. Now take a powder. I don't feel like talking anymore. Like cocaine? What does that mean? <laughs> Odd expression. All right. Well? Take a powder, I guess. Go off. I want to make sure I examine things in here, because now I'm paranoid that I'm not triggering stuff by examining every nook and cranny that I need to. I want to... no, not that. Not that. I want to look at this. If those are candle holders, they are very strange. Oh my gosh. Nancy, you can figure it out. You can put it together. Use that big old brain of yours. Think it through. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, we yes? have drum. No! Really? We'll talk some more later. 
Keep me posted. We had so much drama to talk about. She really has no follow-up thoughts on, on all this? Okay, fine. I walked all the way over here for nothing. Um... What am I doing? We Frank and Joe are able to find Can't a thing. Check that off yet. Did that. Finish that. I mean, they're on the train. How do I discover who threw the amnesia? Haven't done that yet. Can't check that off yet. Oh, should we do a scale thing again? The number for the eagle. Did we do that yet? Did we do that yet. Hang on, I lost my page. Hmm. I think Eagle was two, but I honestly don't remember. Figure out which four numbers that is. Hmm. I'm very perplexed as to why we can't grab the gems gemstones. Like, why not? You know? Why not? We're gonna need them. Why can't we grab them yet? Because that would be stealing. Nancy doesn't care. What has Nancy ever cared about that? Let me touch it. Touch it. Left pickaxe. The information which follows. Silverado. Projector. Name. Use four words for you. Oh, we're not at our grave yet. We can't do that. Former favorite steps. I feel like we did all those things. We just had to figure out who threw the emergency break. But he's not fessing up to it. Ah, I can't stay mad at a fellow detective. Okay. What do you need? Have you talked to John Gray? <laughs> the ghost guy? Total quack. Only reason I talked to him would be to arrest him for fraud. Oh my gosh, calm what down. What do you think happened to Jake Hurley? He probably died trying to work that mine of his all by himself. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm onto something that could crack this case. Oh, give it open. to me, please, Tino. You know where the mine is? Sorry, can't go into detail. Let's just say that thanks to yours, truly, oh my God. To Jake Hurley won't be a mystery much longer. You've been a big help. Don't mention it. Bess? It would be rude to use it now. Okay. Help, Bess. Please. Please. Hi, Bess. I'm hey, desperate. I'm calling you. Okay. If I told you that I needed a hint, what would you say? I'd say it's about time. I'd say fire away. Set fire to the train. Oh, that wasn't the hint. <laughs> I found a piece of... Uh, no, I know what to do with that. Um, Eagle, I know. Should I just do the eagle? I kind of know the answers Bye. to these. The answer is I don't want to do them. The answer is I don't really want to do that. Let's see. Eagle is two. All right. We have one, two. Let me see. Do the eagle one yet? should see if the boys have figured anything out yet. I mean, I know that's very unlike the boys. If I don't figure out in like five minutes, we'll probably just like wrap, wrap it Better up. Better not mess with that puppy. 
But for the in investigation, Nancy, we must. Hey, how's it going? Were you able to find anything out about Jake's engineer, that James Thurston guy? Good news and bad news. The good news is he had a wife and How are they cord, finding this so out? He may have had children. The bad news is our internet Books? service provider stopped providing before we could use our cell oh, phones internet. to find out anything else. That's okay. okay. They Googled we can it. do more checking when we get to Copper Gorge. They Googled right. it. That's the answer. See you soon. So Sounds I've been good. running up and down this train like a madman, and they're just sitting here Googling away. More questions? Do you have a theory as to who pulled the emergency brake? Well, I know it wasn't me. I assume it wasn't you, and I highly doubt it was Lori. So that leaves those two friends of yours, Men. Mr. Gray and Mr. Balducci. What do you think their Typical. motive was? I don't know. About I am getting friends, my steps in. But perhaps I'm those hopping other across two train cars. Would be fun. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. I should get going. My publisher thanks you. The hoo 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 hoo. Too busy copying and pasting all the work Lori sent over. Hoo hoo hoo. All right. I think we just have to talk to people more. I think we gotta reevaluate. I think we gotta listen. We gotta sit down. We gotta listen. We gotta learn. We have to come in with open hearts and open minds. And I think that's how we're gonna solve this. That's what detectives do. <laughs> I know. I know. Gross. Well, we looked at that. Okay. Hey, glad you stopped in. You gotta listen to this. What have you got? Oh boy. Put this digital recorder in the corner where Camille it's showed up like in that picture and turned it on so a it song just he wrote for me. Now when you play it back at normal volume, you're like, all ooh, you hear is background good. Noise. But when you turn the volume way up and run the signal through a filter or two. All I hear is his stupid machines. Hear that? I hear something. It kind of sounds like a woman singing. I did not get not that at all. Woman. Come <laughs> here. Oh my gosh, we're in so sync. Be careful what you say in here. She's listening. Okay. How you get back to work? Take care. Whatever. Well, that was useless. Is this just what men do for a living? They just gaslight women into thinking they hear ghostly women singing. Ooh, that looked like we were gonna fall off the train for a second there. Oh, it looks just like the stuff John Green <gasps> has his thermometers packed in. It too, Brute. What's going on? Don't tell me it was the cop. A cop You're committing the one a crime. That emergency break, aren't you? <laughs> Me? <laughs> what are you joking? You stole one of John Gray's thermometers and planted it at the Boom. scene. If you're just some teenage nobody. I don't have to listen to this. Excuse me, I'm you're rich. Right, you don't. Neither do the other passengers. But unless you give me a good reason not to, I think I'll tell them anyway. Look, maybe I was a little hasty pointing a finger at the ghost guy like okay. that. Okay. Maybe all those lies Typical. people have been spreading are starting to get to me. Maybe I thought it would help if I got a little positive press by solving a crime aboard a haunted train. Men. Maybe I apologize. And uh, maybe you can see fit not to let any that of this go so down this road. That is so of him. Well, so. no harm done, I guess. Great. Well, what else can I do for you? We could have died. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Not a problem. Sometimes words can come back like a boomerang. That's what Jojo Siwa said. Well, I'm done with that. Check. Check. All right. Still have to do that. Haven't done that yet. Okay, well, I feel like we're making good progress. Haven't done that yet. All right. I think we're going to stop there. I feel I feel proud of what we've accomplished despite the game slightly breaking on us. Check. We're definitely going to save. I want you all to witness me saving first. There's just see what says a lot of things. Did y'all see the clip of the one paparazzi guy who asked her if every Democrat should have an illegal immigrant or something? 
Look it up. It's wild. It's so funny. <laughs> the shock on her face. She wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared. No one was prepared for that one. That was a good, that was a good clip. Ugh, okay. That hurt my brain a little bit. Yeah, um... Sometimes I get this glitch on my computer. I think one of the other games we would play would do that too. Where it makes my desktop... Ooh, y'all can't see it there. Oh wait, I'm flipping through all the screens. It makes my desktop orange. <laughs> It's a weird, weird glitch on my computer. My computer loves to do fun, quirky little things, you know. Little things. Oh, look at the sweet nutmeg. All right, I got to hop off here before um, Dan comes home and then the dogs go nuts. And they just absolutely destroy the microphone. It is very spooky, very October. But I'm confident we'll still... I feel like we still have a lot to do from what I vaguely remember of this game. I think we can beat the rest of it next time. I think so. But yeah, thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of your night, folks. That makes us good night. And Goose does too, off camera. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye.